What's going on guys, you're with Hardy Tech, and welcome back to more grinding time without any more further ado. Delay, delis, delama. Yeah, you remember that thing I said about no more delay? I'm delaying right now. Let's get started. Alright, so I hope the story is funny enough, but if it's not, that's okay. So it was last October, and I was dating this girl, insert fake name here. I love this part because I get to come up with some derpy name. Sir, you are now dating George. Yeah. I was madly, madly into her, but the only problem was she lived an hour away and I have no car. So finally, I got, to go I got to go down to her house to hang out with her, and she decided to take me to her school's first football game. We watched and enjoyed. Afterwards, we went to the top of a nearby parking garage. We stood there and looked over the skyline, looking at the nearby city of, insert fake city here. Uh, oh god, uh, I feel challenged. I feel like he's trying to challenge me to come up with something funny. But you know what, sir? No. I will not give in to your silly games. You are looking at Pittsburgh. Yes, you and George are looking at Pittsburgh. Almost in an instant, she started to kiss me. We got really into it, and I started to get a... You know. <gasps> I, I, I don't know. Can you please explain it a little more to all the little innocent viewers you're corrupting right now? You monster. Almost in an instant, cops storm up in the parking garage level and start yelling at us. I try to tell them that it's a public place, but they insist on us leaving. While they continue to scream at us, I couldn't help but remembering the movie Paul Blart Mall Cop. Accidentally, I boarded out asking, Are you Paul Blart? So he asked me if I wanted to get a f if I wanted to get fined for trespassing. And on the walk home, all I could think of was, Why the hell did I call a cop Paul Blart? The end. You know, you left out some very important details here, sir. For example, one, was this cop Paul Blart? Or Kevin James? Either one. Two, what did they do to George? Where is George now? We need some kind of update here. Where is George? Does he still live in Pittsburgh? Did he ever go back to that parking garage? No, we need to know, man! And whatever happened to your insert thing here, huh? Did it just go away or what? You can't leave out all these exciting details. They don't appreciate it. So, it's just, oh, you frustrated me. Let's move on. Hey, Hardy, I'm that guy who sent in the story about the sex sounds in the camping place. It actually puts in the IOW, but I have no clue what that is. But it was in the cabin, and you guys might remember the, yeah, it was awkward. So this is another story the day after the last story happened. That's in all caps, so I assume I'm supposed to yell that. So welcome back to the I Love White, Hardy. So we went for our out for our sixth activity. It was named the Catwalk. No, not the big sparkly thing over glittered fashion models walk on for no apparent reason. Ever heard of the internet? It was three small courses that led up to the trees. Some pretty fucking high trees. Now you might be thinking, how the heck did these trees get high? Do these camp people have a secret stash somewhere? So my friend's mom forgot to pack him hardly anything. All he had was two pairs of socks, one shirt, and one pair of sho shoes. Was, was he not wearing pants? Or underwear? Well, this camp just got a lot more exciting. He only had one pair of underwear. Okay, there's the underwear. What? Well, still, no pants? I like it. So, uh, he only had one pair of underwear, and they were screwed up and muddy from all the dirt trail we did. Somehow, they got in his underwear. That dirty bitch. No pun intended. So, it was my friend Felipe's turn. Remember Felipe? Uh, no. He was he was one of the ones that were making sex sounds. I don't know if he was the one that was doggy styling the air or not, but, um... So, with no underwear on, he started to climb the course. He was to the final stage until he was trying to make his pants a bit tight. Okay, so he does have pants, man. You're leaving out all these details. Nobody appreciates that. We gotta be very specific on this kind of stuff. What color were the pants, man? Ugh. Well, exactly an estimated 3.462 seconds later, his pants fell straight down and to show the whole world and a girl school who was visiting on the activity next to us, the great fapping machine, the dick. When the teachers thought it was so terrible, they sent him to space too. Wow, dude, that must be a really, really bad penis if you get sent to space for it. Unless it's just like, it's so big, it's like screwing up the gravitational pull of the Earth. Because it has like its own gravitational pull. In which case, kudos to Felipe. I, I respect him. Him and my best friend were there in, sitting in space listening to E.T. stories about how he got drunk. The end. See you next time, you sexy beast. Oh, that's weird. Uh, anyway, so, um, because this isn't awkward enough, we'll go one last story. So, a disclaimer, my whole family is overweight. Now to the story. In early July, there were a bunch of baby frogs in our yard. My little sister, insert name here. Wow, you guys just love that. Your, your little sister is now nicknamed Bob. Hi, Bob. 
grabbed one and grabbed one of the little frogs and set it on her stomach. She then leaned over to grab a cup off the ground. She then leaned back to relax. Then she went to go grab the frog and noticed that it was dead. She screamed for a good three minutes. No! I killed him in my fat rolls! No! Foggy! I hope this gives you some sort of entertainment to the Caterpies watching. Have fun. Well, that was probably five very disturbing minutes. I bet you all regret wa regret watching this. But for those of you who are looking forward to Next Light Platinum, it'll be up at noon tomorrow. So noon Pacific time, 3 Eastern, 8 Whatever you English people call your time, figure it out on your own. Until then, thank you for watching, guys. I'm Hardy Tekio. Remember to submit your stories via PM on YouTube if they're funny. They may be in a future video. Peace! That means leave. Bye.